I deserve and receive secure love from those who are emotionally available. Love from those who are emotionally available. We all know that love bombing creates false emotional connections, making you feel attached to someone who is most likely manipulating your emotions. And as much as I would say that love bombing is something that happens in your 20s and your 30s, I'm in my mid 40s dating men in their late 50s and 60s, and I'm still getting love bombed. So obviously this trend is going nowhere. So how do we keep the love and ditch the bomb? I always say in dating, there's four types of partners, the pet, the player, the project, and the partner. And who you attract has everything to do with your vibrational alignment. Alignment. If you are new to my channel, my name is Angela Jean and I provide step-by-step -step methods to sculpt your mind to shape your reality. And in this video, we're going to go over how to keep the love and ditch the bomb, how to protect yourself from the manipulation by understanding the psychology behind it. And most importantly, as I always say, how your own energy plays a role in attracting it. So keep these reasons in mind so you have somewhat of a mental map when it comes to navigating through these experiences. While taking accountability for the role we play is never much fun let's focus on them and why it's their fault and not ours. So this guy is using love bombing as a mechanism because he was in a relationship where he felt undervalued and control. So he's using love bombing to regain a sense of control at the same time, proving his worth really quickly and finding a way to feel desired. So he might plug into you for a night, a week, a couple weeks, but once he gets his emotional charge of love, light, validation from you, the emotional charge that he is seeking, he unleashes the bomb and he's gone. With this guy, it's an actual manipulative tactic used to gain emotional control over you by overwhelming you with affection. And lastly, we have this guy, the guy that fears rejection. I call this guy the microdose guy because his fear of abandonment makes him plug in and plug out. He's getting little micro doses of love along the way because he feels if he spends more time with you and you take the love story slow, you might possibly abandon him. So they try to secure affection early on to avoid being rejected later. And while the blame game is so much fun, accountability is key. So now we need to circle it back to us. What role can we be playing that is attracting love bombing men? If our energy field reflects what we manifest and we feel that we're in a good place, then what gives. So here it is. We're obviously always healing. Nobody is completely healed. We're all under construction. We're all a work in progress. <laughs> so the remnants of the parts of you that have not healed are going to attract the love bomber in because it mirrors the unhealed parts of us. So none of us are safe from love bombing. However, if you have the tools and the awareness to identify it, you protect yourself from getting sucked into the manipulation. But wait, there's more. <laughs> if you continue healing, if you continue staying vibrationally aligned with what you want, the love bombers can't stick to you because their tactics won't resonate. Their superficial approach will not align with the authenticity that you're putting out. One thing I have realized is that I have never been love bomb if I was not drinking. And what do we know about alcohol? It lowers your vibration which does what makes you in alignment with who low vibrating love bombing people. So understanding why someone love bombs helps you, but it doesn't protect you from emotional fallout to truly protect yourself. You need to strengthen your energy and mindset. So the step-by-step -step method that I'm going to leave you guys with today to begin sculpting your mind, to shape your reality is this number one, to manifest authentic relationships, you have to have complete clarity. Allow the contrast to give you clarity and make sure you write it down and revisit that list because it changes. And every time it changes, it shifts who you're attracting in. That's why you need to write a list and get complete clarity on what you want. Number two is alignment. You must be what you want to attract. If you want authentic relationships, you need to ensure that you're living an authentic life. If you want people to follow through, you need to make sure you're following through. You have no secrets from yourself. So if there are parts of your life where you're not being authentic, where you're not following through, where you're keeping secrets, where you're bailing, where you're flaking, that's why you're in alignment with love bomb. Number three, patience. <laughs> this is the hardest one for everyone. You have to realize there are billions of people in the world that are all being shuffled around and so much divine intervention has to happen for you guys to cross paths. Patience is key. And lastly, to keep healing, to close the gap between you and what you want. And you can do that by downloading the audio file I created for you guys. It's free. It's in the description box below. I created it for self-protection and redirection. Remember you guys that our reality is constantly unfolding with every decision, with every story, with every choice we make. So the minute you are love bombed and that momentum starts to kick in and you start writing the stories, as always happens. If you continue to tell that story, you are holding your reality in place. You have to take the momentum 
momentum of your mind, play that one minute audio that I created for you. You have to sculpt your mind to shape your reality. So anytime you get love bombed, have that in your phone, play it, use it to redirect your mind because the momentum is power. You just have to make sure that you're harnessing the momentum and redirecting it in the right direction if you want to attract different types of partners. All right, guys, that is it for today. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any love bombing stories that you would love to share, put them in the description box below. We have to find a way to suck the humor out of the dating climate these days because it really has turned into the wild, wild west. Bye. I deserve and receive secure love from those who are emotionally available.